Hi beauties and welcome back to the beauty room. So this is a continuation of the last video which was my beauty haul and if you remember one of the last pieces in the video within the haul was this big box which is the Wet n Wild and Sanrio collaboration and let's go through it this time. We're actually going to go through it, all of the concepts in the box but before we begin let's take a quick look inside at what is featured. So starting off here is the pretty pink box that the whole set comes in. I think this is the PR box, if I'm sure. I got this from Ulta when it first was released. But as you can see, you have my Melody and Karomi on the front of the box. And then let's take a quick look at the drawing on the front. And now let's open up the box. So as you can see, here is the top part of the box, which mentions about the collection and the collaboration, the hashtags, and then the social media handles. And then it's also nicely covered up to protect it. But then once we remove that protection, here is what is inside. So here is the entire collection. As you can see, there is two eyeshadow palettes, a blush palette, two liquid lipsticks, two lip glosses, a makeup bag, and two makeup brushes. So let's take a quick closer look. Here is the My Melody eyeshadow palette. As you can see, a lot of pinks, neutrals, and the yellow on top. Here's the Karomi palette, a little bit of darker shades. I definitely see a lot of experimenting with this one, at least on my end. But with this pink one, it's like my, it just captures my attention quickly. Not because of the character, but because of the colors inside. It's like typical colors I like to wear. But I definitely see a lot of experimenting with both of these. And then here we have the blush palette. As you can see, there's four different blushes inside. So here are the lip glosses. You see both characters on the packaging for both of them. You see like a gold and a like purple one. And then we move over to the liquid lipsticks. There's like a hot pink and purple. I don't know about you guys, but I find this, a pack this packaging so adorable and cute. So now we have the cosmetic bag. As you can see in the front part right now, it's my melody with the Stay Sweet picture. And then if we pull it out, you have Karomi on the other side that says make trouble. I like this. This is very, very cute. And then we have a double sided brush that has the blush on one end. And then look at that cute little detail. And then we have highlight on the other end. And then with the second brush, we have a blending on the top once again the sparkle and the detail inside the brush and then we have eyeshadow underneath and then that is the whole collection now let's take a closer look at swatches so we're going to start off with the My Melody palette, and it's the one that's in the pink. As you can see, the pinks, the neutrals, and the yellow. So when I pulled it out the, the whole box and started like, taking off the labels and from the safety packaging, I don't know why, but for some reason I smell something sweet. So let's see if it's the palette, or is it just me? But let's see. Well, there's some type of smell that I can't pin it down but yeah and this is the palette once you open it up looks beautiful right so now we're gonna go into the top row and we're gonna swatch and as you see the first four top shades and then here they are swatched 
So starting from the left, all the way to the right. So there are the first four. So there is room number two. And then here it is swatched. The pink one, which is the third one in that row, it looks beautiful on, on the palette, but when I swatch it, I don't see that much come off being picked up. And then here is row number three. And then here is row number three swatched out. Definitely like this row. And that is row number four. Which would be these final four colors. Again, I'm pressed, especially with the shimmers. So now we're going to go into the Karomi palette, which is this one, the darker one. And here is a closer look before I open it up. And then those are what the eyeshadows look like. So let's go ahead and swatch her. So now we move on to the Karomi palette. And then here are the first four on the top row. And then here they are swatched out. I gotta say I'm impressed with that top row. I don't know how I feel about the first shade. But they're pretty good. So far so good. So let's move on to the next one. So I'm actually going to go ahead and show you the rest of the palette. So here is row two. Then we have row three. And row four. And I'm showing you all together because I decided to swatch it all together. So let me show you those swatches. Well, let me move my face out of the way. But look at that. Don't mind that one purple. I understand why they say purple eyeshadow is one of the hardest to make because look at that swatch. <laughs> but this palette is definitely impressive. I think I kind of like this one more than the My Melody one. Which is shocking because I like the colors in the other one. But not bad. Not bad at all. So now we have the blush palette, which is this one, and it comes with four different blushes, as you can see right here. Well, there's actually a highlighter, so these, this is like the highlighter right here in, in the palette. But why don't we go ahead and swatch it right as well. So here is the blush and highlighter palette. So we gonna start with the top shade and then here's a closer look at how it is that's just one little pass through and then look at the reflection with the light so now we have swatched the rest of the palette and then you have the second highlighter and then the two blushes I like this blush the one right here which is the third one swatched and I definitely like the two highlighters. So this is definitely a good pickup, in my opinion. But these two are nice, and I like this one. I'm gonna be on the fence with this one because I feel like it's a little bit too dark for my complexion. But it's cute. It's definitely like a nice, nice pigmentation on, on them. So now we move on to the lip products in this collection. And there are two liquid matte lipsticks in the shades Sweetie Pie, which would be this one. And then we have Got Girl, which would be the chromey one. So there you go, there's both. And then we also have two glosses in the collection as well. So you have Oh My, which would be this one right here. And then you have Lil, Lil Miss Pink, which would be this one right there. So there are the two glosses side by side and then the two liquid matte lipsticks side by side so 
So let's swatch those out too. So with the liquid lips, I swatched them out and then we have right on top is Sweetie Pie. And then we also have Goth Girl. So here is a closer look with the light. And those are definitely very pigmented. And then with the glosses, you have Oh My, which is this one right here. And then let's take a quick look at that one. So there's Oh My right underneath Golf Girl. I like it. Definitely stands out. And then like you see with the light, it definitely pops. And then we have Lil Miss Pink, which is the second gloss. Ooh, oh my gosh. Wait. Wait till I show you. So here's all four lip products. But look at Little Miss Pink. Like, it doesn't stand as much as Oh My. But I definitely like it, especially as a topper. Definitely. Don't mind my swatches. I know it could be better. But yeah, definitely look. That's nice. I wouldn't, I don't know how I would wear the lipsticks, but I know it'll definitely be using glosses. Definitely. So now on to the makeup brushes. And you have two in this collection, which here's one. As you can see, you have a blush side and then the highlighter side. I want to be able to show you guys the detail. Like, if I flip this over, look at that. Like, you see it, and then it says, like, Button Wild, and then it says My Melody and Karomi. Like, how adorable is this? But you have the highlighter and the blush, and then you have your eye blending brush. So, you have the, the blender and the eyeshadow. both sides and then again you have the details as the other brush and I think they are super cute and adorable and great with the theme I will test these out later on and let you know how I feel about them I don't necessarily want to touch them yet because I think they're too adorable but I will let you guys know definitely how I feel about them. And then last but not least, we have the cosmetic bag. So you have the pink with my melody on one side, with Stay Sweet, and then you have Make Trouble with Karomi on the other. And you have the little heart on top. How cute! It's like so adorable. But then inside, it's a pretty decent cosmetic bag. This is a simple, small one. Quick for on the go. You could even use this for like anything else, like for travel. Besides makeup. But it's definitely cute. And then it goes, if everything fits in here. Everything from the collection definitely fits. Yep, because we put the eyeshadow palette. The blush. And those would be the main products that you would want to see if they fit in the bag. And there you go. So, pretty nice. But would you have to necessarily get it? I mean, I got it with the whole kit. But would I have bought it separately? Probably not, but it's definitely a cute little addition. So, as you can see, that is a whole entire collection with Wet n Wild and Sanrio with My Melody and Karomi. Overall, I think this is definitely a cute collection. It's definitely one if you are a Sanrio fan. It's one that you want to have. If you're just a makeup lover, I still say it's one you would like to have. Overall, 
I do like the whole collection. I definitely have some more favorites than other parts of the collection. Um, for me, some of the surprises were definitely the Karomi eyeshadow palette. This was definitely a shock to me. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. And I feel like it stood out a little bit more than my Melody. At least some of the shadows were a little more pigmented and stayed. The only one I felt like I had a little bit trouble with is the one purple eyeshadow. And it's all in the last row. And it's this one right here. But overall, I felt like they were all very pigmented. The shimmers just like pop. They both pop on both palettes, but like this one. I'm speechless on this one. I didn't think I was going to be a big fan of it because of the color scheme. But I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I also am impressed with the highlighter and the blush palette. You have the two highlighters on this side and then the blushes. The only blush I'm on the fence with is this one because I feel like it's too dark for me. But I definitely like the two highlighters, especially this one. And the blush is nice. I typically don't go for blushes like that bright or exotic. I'm not really a blush person. But this was a good pickup. It's a good pickup. And I definitely love this one right here. I love this highlighter. Another, well, I didn't get to try them out yet. But I'm just like so fascinated by the makeup brushes. And there's still a little kid in me that's still like, like hypnotized by the little things inside. I don't know, I'll be playing with these for a while. Just flipping them over to see how, <laughs> how they <laughs> move. So yeah, don't mind me. I'm gonna be here for like a good five minutes just like, but yeah, <laughs> I like them. And then like, look at these bristles and they feel nice and soft. They definitely feel nice and soft. I, I don't know, I'm just like, ah! But, <laughs> I mean, come on, man, look. All right, I'll stop, promise. So, cosmetic bag, I think it's cute, but I don't think it's necessary, but it's definitely a cute addition to the collection. Had I had to buy everything separately, I think I would have just passed on it, but it's cute. And last but not least. The lip products. I think these two colors are cute, but would I wear them every day? Probably not. I think the one I would probably wear more between the two would be Goth Girl, but I still wouldn't necessarily wear them that much. What I definitely love from the lip products are the glosses. I'm a gloss girl, and I'll keep saying that with every collection because I that's the one thing I run to first glosses so I definitely like this one I really really like it I feel like you wear it alone and combine it with a nice lipstick as well and this one I feel like it could be a nice lip topper it's, it's definitely cute it's called the oh it's a little miss punk and I kept saying pink oh my gosh I can't read That's, you'll see, I'm a little goof. But I definitely like these. So when it comes to this whole collection, I say it is, even if it's just a makeup fanatic, a Sanrio fanatic, I definitely say this is a must purchase. Well, not must purchase, but it's definitely a good purchase. And it definitely gets a thumbs up for me because I'm definitely shocked with some of it. And once I saw it up on the website, I just had to have it. I had to. So do I regret it? No, I definitely like this a lot. 
So if you're still thinking about it, I say go for it. And it's still budget friendly. It's not, it's not gonna be like super expensive. If you still manage to find it at Ulta, you can definitely use your Ulta coupons, your Ulta points. Otherwise, check Wet n Wild's website, and I think they still let you, if they have any promotions, I would double check. But if you're still able to find that Ulta, you can still definitely use your coupons and your points. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a, it's good to go. So I hope you guys found this first impressions and review and unboxing helpful. I know I probably stalled a little bit, so I apologize for that. I probably had some of you guys waiting for this because I had it, I teased it a couple times. But we finally got through it and it was worth the wait. But if you guys want to see anything else in the future, let me know in the comments. As always, you can hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Hit me up in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time in the beauty room. Bye.